a new leader for the Liberal Democrats, but his victory is less than convincing. Tonight, Nick Clegg celebrates his win by just 500 votes. He becomes the party's third leader in less than two years, and he promises change. I want today to mark the beginning of a real change in Britain. The beginning of Britain's liberal future. Thank you very much. We'll be assessing the scale of Mr Clegg's challenge to improve the party's standing. Also tonight, the taxpayer gives Northern Rock an even bigger guarantee, but is nationalisation now on the cards? The spirit of change in South Africa as the controversial Jacob Zuma steps closer to the presidency. And why Amy Winehouse was questioned by police in London tonight. On BBC London, new research claims that cutting immigration in the capital would harm our economy. And under threat of closure, but could shutting the capital's old police stations put people's safety at risk? Good evening. The Liberal Democrats have chosen Nick Clegg as their new leader, but his margin of victory over Chris Hewn was much less convincing than some had expected. Mr Clegg, who is 40, succeeds Sir Mingus Campbell and says his leadership will be about changing politics and changing Britain. But as our political editor Nick Robinson explains, he faces a big challenge to improve the party's standing. His report does contain some flash photography. Meet the man who says he can change politics and change Britain. Quite a claim for the leader of the third party. Quite a claim when you're the third man in that job since the last election. It's not that long since Charles Kennedy was forced out. It is just a few weeks since Ming Campbell followed him to the leader's graveyard. Vince Cable, the acting leader who joked and danced his way into his party's hearts, didn't even run for the job himself. The number of votes cast for Nick Clegg was 20,980. And the number of votes cast for Chris Hewn was 20,477. And I therefore declare that Nick Clegg is elected leader of the Liberal Democrats. Close, mighty close. The Lib Dems struggled to choose between these two men. In the end, they gambled on youth, charisma and energy. Bags of it. My election as leader today marks a new beginning. Today is about two things, ambition and change. With rhetoric eerily like that of David Cameron, Nick Clegg promised he'd open up British politics. I want a new politics, a people's politics. I want to live in a country where rights, freedoms and privacy are not the playthings of politicians, but safeguarded for everyone where political life is not a Westminster Village freak show, but open, accessible and helpful in people's everyday lives. So who is Nick Clegg? How does he describe himself? His profile on the networking website Facebook shows that 2007 has been a big year for him. He turned 40 in January. Having become an MP in Sheffield just two years ago, he was catapulted into the job of Shadow Home Secretary. Before that, he was a member of the European Parliament after a few years working in Brussels. His favourite music has something for almost everyone. Led Zeppelin, David Bowie and Bach. Nick Clegg doesn't expect to be Prime Minister, but he refuses to discuss sharing power with any other party. In terms, then, will you accept that you've had coalitions in Scotland, in Wales, in many councils, and this may be your greatest hope of power? is to form one in Westminster. One thing I can tell you for sure is I didn't go into politics to end up being, uh, the Liberal Democrats end up being a, an annex to a Conservative government or an annex to a Labour government. I'm here you because I power? believe... Isn't power I want, what politics I want, is about? I, I want, above all, a more liberal Britain. That is what I will campaign on. That is what I think reflects the, the hopes, the aspirations, the fears and the anxieties of the British people. That is what I'm going to set about doing between now and the next general election. So come the next general election, if people want to see real change, not synthetic, fake change, real change, they'll vote for the Liberal Democrat. The Lib Dems have invested an awful lot of hope in Nick Clegg. This time, the third time. They're relying on the bubbles not losing their fizz. Well, let's